Hey, I'm Laura Izibor, and you're watching soulculture.co.uk. Of all the artists you've ever toured with and opened for, who have you learnt the most from? Probably Al Green, just because he was like, you know, got to chill and hang with him for a little bit and he was just like, you need to keep being yourself. That was what he, what he said, words of wisdom. And uh, you know, it's true, because you, you sometimes forget that and it's very easy in this industry to kind of be caught up in a lot of uh, crap, as we say back home. And uh, it was just a really simple but uh, brilliant thing that Mr. Green, Reverend Al Green, told me a long time ago. So, yeah. I knew who I was, but this industry sometimes tests you. And um, I've just been able to hold on to myself a, a little bit better. Because there's so many different things that pull you left and right. And, and whether it's image, whether it's body, whether it's beauty. As a woman, we have so many, you know, pressures and things. So I think finding one center and then holding on to it and uh, I feel thank god I've, I've found that and um, because it's pretty crazy if you don't you know that's why so many people especially females uh, of recent get so messed up you know? I will from my heart to yours I would give you everything everything from my heart to yours I'd make the birds sing yeah yeah so has your ever increasing success had any influence on the soul scene in Ireland at this moment in time? Mm, I don't know. I really don't know. It'd be nice if it if it did. It'd be nice to be part of uh, some sort of movement, you know. Because um, I definitely think that the love is there in Ireland. I think that the talent is there. I just don't think there's necessarily been that kind of, you know, opening that doorway. So um, if I'm part of that, then that's that's a huge honour. Wake up one morning, you realize Your life is one big compromise, compromise. Stuck in the job you swore was only, was only temporary So how did you choose the album title? Let the truth be told um, Well it's sort of, you know, it's a statement, it's strong And I think that's definitely what the album um, has going on for it and I was able to write the whole record, so in that, the album is there for my truth. And um, yeah, it just fit, you know. It was one of those things it's like love, the clicks and the chemistry is there. It's just that's it. And um, that's what it was like the minute I was like, truth be told, like the truth be told, and just that was it. <laughs> What are your ambitions as an artist? Um, to just be able to continue to have a fan base that appreciate, you know, that can grow with you and just, just enjoy making, you know, great music and playing with fantastic musicians. I don't, you know, think about figures and uh, trophies and where I'll be in five years and all that because it just, uh, to me, it just takes away from right now and um, I'm still feeling as energized and hyped up about what I do and who I uh, get to share it with then you know I'll be happy. Okay. Who would you like to work with on your next album or future projects? Ooh, next album? Um, maybe John Legend could be, could be, could be nice because uh, yeah, I'm watching him just bring it every night his voice is just so beautiful and I love I love Lupe Fiasco. Um, yeah, just you know, who knows? There's a few names, and I I, don't, I wouldn't like to expose it until the the very last uh, minute. A little bit of a surprise. Up your mind. 